what I remember about the rise of Tonight the fall of the Jedi is at hand. We have been directed by the highest authority to wipe out the insurgent Jedi Order that threatens our great empire. Our first objective is to capture the Council Chamber. Lord Vader will be our field commander. Let's keep the Jedi low and move out. and troops, double time to the library. The Jedi are attempting to destroy the library's hollow box in direct defiance of command. Stop them. Stop the destruction of the Jedi hollow box. If you can keep at least one of the bookcases intact for at least two minutes, command can scan the contents of the library. Your next objectives are a pair of holocrons, rumored to contain the sum of Sith and Jedi knowledge. The first one is located on the comm room. Retrieve it and bring it to the veranda.
Star Chamber. You must defeat this Jedi and bring this hologram to the veranda drop-off point. of the holocron secured, we can deal with the remainder of the Jedi here. Execute the three Jedi Masters who have poisoned the minds of their impressionable students against the Empire. Let them bear witness to the cost of rebellion. Well done. Our new Emperor will be pleased. Primary mission objectives complete. The Jedi Temple has been secured. Friendly fire! Flank the Jedi and take them down! During the rise of the Empire, the Emperor's home planet of Naboo rapidly established itself as it was time for a regime change. A change that would be affected by the 501st, now under the direct command of Darth Vader. Our orders were simple, to infiltrate the city, take out their leader, sending a clear signal to other potential troublemakers in the Empire. Welcome to the capital city of Theed. Tonight, we will be performing a radical destabilization of the Theed government by the elimination of their queen. She is heavily guarded in the central plaza by a group of Jedi and an auto turret grid. In order to defeat these defenses, we must set up a perimeter around the central plaza and shut down the auto turret grid. Careful, soldier. Your numbers are few, and the mission of success rests on your shoulders. Now it's onto the Embassy Plaza. Move out. Take out that turret. Roger that. <laughs>
Grenade! Grenade! Watch those blasters! So far, so good. Now, capture the guard post past the embassy. If you need some extra firepower, we've managed to sneak a tank for you at the embassy command post. Use it wisely. Well, now on our side. Now we must destroy the auto turret grid console, clearing access to the central plaza. Destroy it, and the Queen will be ours. The Queen's personal Jedi bodyguards have broken from the palace. Destroy them. Watch out, soldier. The auto turret grid is still online. Keep you and your men out of the central plaza until we can find a way to shut down the turret. trying to escape. Quickly, you must eliminate the Queen at all costs. You have performed a great service for the Empire. The Queen's death will serve as an example to other naval rebellions, saving countless lives. With the Queen eliminated, Naboo quickly fell in line. It was the first time the 501st was called upon to adjust a planet's government. But it wouldn't be the last. Within months, the 501st gained a well-deserved reputation as Vader's fist. Although the Clone Wars were over, some people never seemed to get the message. The worst case of denial was Gizor Delso, a Geonosian separatist who'd somehow escaped Lord Vader's efforts to wipe out the remnants of the CIS. Lord Vader tracked him to Mustafa and brought us in to finish the job. It seemed like a simple enough mission, but when we saw the fleet of droid ships hovering over the planet, we suddenly realized that Delso's denial mechanisms were a little more dangerous than we'd imagined.
Sir, the droids have landed on our ship. We can't launch our fighters. Calm down, pilot. Get out there and destroy that transport. Use any means necessary to clear the hangar. their fighters and bombers. Watch out for the asteroids, pilots. They're easy to destroy, but that doesn't mean they aren't dangerous. We are under attack. This is not a drill. Hostile behind you. shields. Use a bomber to deliver the maximum damage. just issued a new order. He wants someone to land in the enemy's hangar, steal one of their strike bombers, and return it to our hangar. Get moving, pilots.
job, pilots. Lord Vader will be most pleased. The slight whiff of nostalgia the 501st had enjoyed fighting the droid fleet over Mustafar had already grown sour by the time we'd established orbital positions. Now it was time to find out what this was all about. hot under the helmet, and not just because of all that lava. Truth be told, we'd all had our fill of those gearheads during the war, and we couldn't stomach the thought of going through another one. So we blew them up. Blew up the droids, blew up the factory. Damn near blew up the planet. of the lava observation. of the walkway. Watch out for snipers! Keep moving! Sniper spotted at 2 o'clock!
we don't destroy today will come back to haunt us tomorrow. Wipe them out. These Geonosians have been working on a new Confederate infantry prototype. Destroy the schematics before they can use them to build a new droid army. base and watch the fireworks. Delso has been defeated. Scratch one droid rebellion. The destruction of the mining facility put an end to any thoughts of a second droid rebellion. For the first time in years, the man of the 501st could relax and get about the business of maintaining an empire rather than building one.